What's up, YouTube? We're live. We're live. We're live. I'm gonna move you over here. Yeah. Maybe. Not sure how many people's gonna join in, but uh, I thought, what the heck? Kimmy, what's up? We're photographing figs. Inner pop, what's up? All right, so we're doing something different. Yeah, we're doing something different. Um, first and foremost, I'm gonna throw a disclaimer out there. What I'm doing is very hazardous. You have to be careful. I'm telling you, this is no joke. You have to be careful. So I'm gonna try to get, what we're doing today, I got my Proxima Midnight. I've got some other figs. I have gunpowder. That's right, gunpowder. So, thought I'd bring you guys along, show you some of what I'm doing. So, I've been wanting to work on creating fire effects for some of my photography. And this is what we're using. And I've already done a test shot. <laughs> it's pretty freaking cool. Not a ran, what's up? Yeah, so you guys are gonna be alone for the ride. Now, I've already preset my, uh, Seamus, what's up? I've already preset my focal point. It's manually focused on proximity, proximity midnight. Um, I've got a super high shutter speed going on. Um, and shutter release, shutter release. All right, so, fingers crossed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one test shot that actually was two. All right. You guys ready for this? We have flame. All right, here we go. <laughs> was that not wickedly cool or what? I don't care, I don't care, I don't care what you say. Fire. All right. So I'm shooting high, Im high these are large images, so it does take a, a moment or two to process because I'm shooting raw. This is the first time I took her out. Uh, actually, I, they might. Uh, yeah. Here's the thing. When I was in the Marine Corps, okay, here's the thing. When I was in the Marine Corps, I was part of EOD, which is Explosive Ordnance Disposal. All right. <laughs> you guys want to see this in camera? <laughs> it's so cool. Check this out. Is that not cool? <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my Lord. So during, all right, so during that sequence, that was like 30 photos in that little sequence. Crazy. Oh my goodness. I'm super stoked now. I am so stoked. This is awesome. I need to try to, how cool is she? Is she not cool? This is, she's not cool, she is a cool, cool figure. Let's see what else we can come up with. I have some uh, stormtroopers too. 
Oh yeah, they're stormtroopers. Let's see if I can get uh, get her out a little bit. Ooh, that's that might be pretty cool. Aquaman, sweet. I went and saw um, Marwin today, and um, it's a good movie. It's it's a good movie. It's not a fast paced movie, um, but it's a really good movie. Oh, that might be cool. Yeah. That might be cool. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. I've, I've found... I've, oh, that's way too close. Sorry. Sorry. I have found a whole nother fun level. But again, serious, on a serious note, do not take this lightly. This is this is not. This is something that's. Uh, it's it's dangerous. I mean, it's you got to be careful. All right. And what I'm trying to do is get the main ball directly behind her. That's what I'm going for. All right, test shot or two. Let me do this real quick. I'm gonna up the shutter speed up. This is part of it. All right, we ready? Here we go. It's not smokeless. <laughs> All right. Trooper down, trooper down. These are part of these, uh, the statues that I picked up that Christina Payne sent me. So I'm really, uh, I've been wanting to try to figure out how to shoot them. You gotta have some fireball. What was it? Go saw rip. Sorry, I, I didn't see all that. I'm sorry. It is really hard to to get all the texts or the chat sometimes, especially when I'm playing with fire. All right. Get my focus set. Stir the pot. We'll make this one a little bit more epic, maybe. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not cooking them. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Plant the powder. That's right. All right, let me take a test shot real quick. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. All right. Got the shutter release. Are we ready? All right, here we go. Oh, you know what? Hang on a minute. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get you guys a little bit better of an angle. All right, here we go. That 
That was a lot of frames. That was, that was probably 30. Wow. I'm not sure how this is going to, I'm not sure how these are going to turn out. But it's, it's fun. And this is, see, here's the thing. So I'm at my house, my property. I've got this area set up. And just so you guys can see something here, the powder actually, I mean, it, it burns a trench. And this is actually gravel. So like I said, when you start messing with gunpowder, black powder, be careful. Seriously, be careful. I do have a water hose right there. But I've had so much rain. All right. You guys want to see it in camera? <laughs> oh, look at this. Is that not wickedly cool? Oh my goodness. That is so cool. I'm not digging that one trooper though. He's, he's sort of, uh, it's about 51. ish so i'm not digging him at all right now so i'm gonna concentrate on this one the one the one trooper my neighbors are home They're gonna be like, Greg's at it again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. Bluetooth shed release, uh, possibly, possibly. I know, Trippy, a steak would be awesome right now. All right, here we go. Oh, let me, uh, let me just, let me do this. Let me do this, let me just flip it. How about that? That'd probably give you guys a better angle. All right, here we go. Really? <laughs> wow. That was crazy. Oh, you see my training tire? It's my training tire. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, and, and here's another thing too, is if it was middle of the summer and dry and stuff like that, I would not be doing this out here. Like I said, I've got this little area set up pretty good. All this ground is saturated, it's soaking wet. And it burns really quick, so there's no chances of you know sparks or something like that. It's just make sure the area is prepped good before you do anything like this. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I dig it, I dig it. Uh, you know, collecting Dragon Ball Z. Ooh, oh wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, 
Let's see something here. All right, so what I'm trying to do, bumping up the, I mean, I'm, I'm shooting high right now, crazy high. Nice little ditch. Put a little bit of a load right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread it out a little bit up at the top and see if it actually creates a wider path. This first time, this first time I've ever played with this for photography. So I'm learning just like you guys. Oh, bam. I took a bunch of them right there. All right. Here we go. Let me flip you around again so you can get a better look. Here we go. All right, here we go. Yes, that actually worked, I think. All right, see you in a pop. So what I did was at the, at, at the, basically right behind the figure, I was doing like a quarter and I actually expanded it out to about this size, which made it do this. Instead of like this, it, boom. Busy, please wait. Busy, please wait. Busy, please wait. Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that's, oh, I gotta show you. All right, so I'll show you the sequence. Let me get, all right, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Get ready, here it comes. Oh, there it is. Epic fireball, bloosh, and it goes away. Bam. I was gonna do a video on this, but I was like, no. We're live streaming this because I just, I, I just got, okay, so, Tomorrow's video is gonna be my top 10 Funko Pops. I finally did it. So for everybody that's asked me to do it, it's dropping tomorrow. This on the other hand, I just had to come play with it. And yeah. You wanna do one more? One more, maybe. Maybe kinda sorta. I don't, I guess you guys don't want me to do it again. I guess not. I really, this, this figure is really eager. Oh, he lost a leg. Five more. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I can pose him to where I, I like the way he looks. And I'm not digging him out here. I dig him on the stand, but out here, He's just not, I'm not feeling it right yet. Okay, I'll do it again. So I'm not using him. I would have brought more out here, but honestly, I didn't know how this was gonna go, so. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing, except I'm gonna make it wider. I'm going for about three inches in diameter directly behind him. I really want to see if I can get a spread. I'm really hoping I can. Now you make the lead off trail.
gonna pack it down a little bit, spread it out. There we go, there we go. Beard needs to see this. All right. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna bump this thing up some more. Let me check it out. Okay. So to let you know, I'm shooting at one two thousandth of a second. One two thousand. I'm gonna try to put my Groot on my car dashboard when I get a car. <laughs> there you go. All right, here we go. Let me let me flip your grounds. Let me flip you, flip you, flip you ginger around again. All right, so you can see. Hang on, I'll zoom it in for you. You can see how wide of a pattern that is. Then there's the lead up trail. All right, here we go. Oh man, come on, come on. Oh, there's fire. All right, here we go. That was a big one. That was a spread right there. I'm curious about something. So you do get remnants on the back. However, it comes off. But I'm actually digging this because it's going to give these things a little bit of a, a, t a weathered look to them as well, a dirty look. So I'm actually cool with it. Very cool with it. But you got to be careful getting really close. Got to be careful. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh, my goodness. All right, let me get to the... All right. All right, here we go. Sequence. Here it comes. Wait for it. Getting ready to get to the spread. Here it comes. Epicness. Epic fireball. Oh, that was that that was a fireball there. Um Let's see here. Drop this down a little bit. Get that leaf out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, right there, right there. All right, gonna do one more. One more. All right. Get a, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it more back from him this time. Up by the wall here. So it's actually making sort of like a, uh, a backwards P, if that makes sense. Because I'm wanting... Oh, I think that'll be a good one right there. Hope you're enjoying this uh, little photography session as much as I'm enjoying doing it. 
All right, that's right, Mary. All right. So as you can see, I've got it more as a a backwards P right there. So I want the fire to go basically back toward. Oh, thank you, Robert. Yeah, these these is something I'm really excited for. I've been wanting to try this. I've just been, to be honest with you, I've just been doing other things. All right. And plus, we've had so much rain that it's actually a good time to do it. All right, here we go. Give me ignition. Come on. Come on. Oh, there it was. Oh, come on. I think my ladder's about out. Here we go. Oh, oh snap, crackle, pop. Wow. 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 <laughs> Crazy. Man, my, my little tripod, my little gorilla pod is like totally jacked up right now. All right. Take my spoon. <laughs> and so here's another cool thing too that happens is uh See how it burns out this, this pea gravel I've got? You can just take the spoon. And the beauty of this is it actually gives another layer of, of weathering. So you're going from this white. So now it actually has more of a battleground look to it. And see, so here was another one that I was messing with. So now we're all, uh, we're all sort of cleaned up. Let's see what the pictures look like. Oh, that is so flipping cool. What I'm going to play with is you can take a, a, it's artificial uh, plant wire and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start playing with it and taking, I won't be able to do it with this, this, those stormtroopers there. But what you can do is you can take a piece of it and put it on like the back of the leg so you can actually create the, the effect of like a bomb hitting. So I'm gonna start playing with that using the, the black powder as well. But Proxima looked really cool. I might need to do another one with her. Yeah, I think I need to do another one with her. Uh, I actually thought about using uh, fireworks, but to be honest with you, I like the uh, black powder better because it's just more controllable and there's no noise, nothing like that. So you don't really disturb neighbors other than the smoke. But you can get you can get smokeless. All right, let's see if I can get her. She's brand new. I ain't even, I ain't even played with her out of the box. So she is like totally stiff jointed right now. Can't even hold her a weapon. Uh, behind, uh, in front is a lot harder to do. Um, because of the fact that the, the, there's so much of, of a flash from the, uh, the flame that it would just overcompensate. But I'm definitely going to try, some, I'm going to be experimenting with this a lot. I love this figure. This is such a cool figure. Such a cool figure. Let's see if I can get her sort of posed up in a, I don't look too bad. No, I don't look too bad at all. All right, 
So she Boom. All right. We're going to do one more with Proxima Midnight. Sorry about the wiggling around. All right. Here we go. We're going to do one a little bit further back with her. Get some depth. I want to actually put it up around and get this leaf off. Get that leaf out. I'm actually going to put some up around the uh, the base of this diorama that I got or that I built. All right, let's get the lead off. I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. All right. Take one more test shot. Get you guys flipped around for the, uh, so as you can see, I put it up around the rock and stuff. So here we go. Get my shutter release, get it ready. All right, here we go. <laughs> that. <laughs> I actually, I actually felt that one. <laughs> oh, she, she, she fared good. She fared real good. Low battery, no. Let's see how she turned out. See, I'm I'm confident because she's going in the box. That's how confident I am right now. Uh, Mary, I am using a Canon 7D Mark II. Right there. Oh wait a minute. Why don't I do this easier? There's my camera. Uh, L series lens, which means it's glass. It's not plastic. Yeah, battery grip. It's a great camera. I love it. All right, let's see if we can. All right, here we go. Oh my lord! It engulfed her. Look at that! It actually engulfed her. That was too much. But that one. Might be a winner winner chicken dinner right there. But check that out. The flames actually engulfed her. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's what happens. It's trial and error. That's all it is. It's trial and error. So we're gonna we're gonna walk over here because I'm gonna get some of this stuff back up on the deck. Then I'll sit down here and talk with you guys for a while until my battery runs dead. I've been standing in mud. <laughs> All right, so check it out. Training tire. 275 pound tire. Use it for flipping, tire flipping. Look, Funko Box. <laughs> Funko Box. All right. Let's sit here and uh, recap. I've been playing with fire. That's what I've been doing. Trying to push the envelope. You're not Greg Corey. 
No. <laughs> um, did I spell the chat live thing wrong? Did I put a C-O-R-Y? Um, but it's all about, okay, so it's all about me pushing my photography of figs another level. That's all it is. How can I, how can I take something and make it cooler? Now, I could very easily do this um, effect in Photoshop, but that's digital creation. I want to physically create it. Oh, that's a cool pick up there, Ren. Awesome. Um, but that's my premise behind all this. It's physical. Oh, okay. I'm, there's no telling how many comments I've missed. That's the bad thing about live stream, especially when you're out here doing this. Yeah. You miss a lot. Miss a lot. I was sort of hoping my deer would come through. I've got like six deer that come through and hang out in the backyard. I saw one on the road yesterday when I was coming home. It just standing out in the middle of the road looking at me. Going, hey, what's up, Greg? Yeah, that's the, we, we actually talked about that at the beginning. Like I said, this is something, um, number one, you got to be a certain age, you know. Don't, like I said, you're not going to be able to get black powder and stuff as a miner. But it does create really cool effects. But you have to be careful. You have to use your brain. It's not just for a hat rack. Uh, but you can create some really cool stuff. And there's there's a lot of photographers that, a uh, lot of uh, toy photographers that are using the same concept. Um, you know, people use vape pens and, you know, fire. I mean, you, you got to simulate things. What's up, John? Uh, but, yeah, I just thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. And, you know, if, I, if it won, it won. If it failed, it failed. But you guys are going to be here to witness it. <laughs> Yeah, you got to use your brains. Brains. <laughs> it's, um, like I said, this is a situation to where we've had so much rain here. The ground is so saturated. I've got an area that's completely prepped for this kind of thing. Uh, when I built that small little diorama area, I actually had this in mind like six months ago. Um, I just hadn't got around to doing it. And the winter time is actually a better time to do things like this because it is usually wetter. Um, you know, middle of the summer, as dry as it is, you definitely don't. Fire in summer does not mix. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's seriously, uh, Ren, it's, it's, it's just saturated. It's so saturated right now. I've literally, the whole time I was over photographing, my shoes are actually drenched right now. I've been just basically standing in a mud puddle. Yeah. I need to get some of those farmer boots, those those knee boots. Uh, but I'm really anxious to see what the images turn out to. Um, I'll try my best to get some uh, Tennessee. Can't you tell by the accent? Uh, I'll try to get, uh, I'm not sure if I'll get a photo up tonight on Instagram or not, but definitely tomorrow because I have to look at them in the, looking at them in the camera is one thing, but until you actually get them on the laptop and I can look at them larger, that's when I'll be able to know how, how well things turn out. Look, these are what I wear. I love these things. These things are awesome. But they're muddy. Luke, what's up? Got to represent Tennessee. That's right. Volunteer state. I'm hearing things. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the, those minis, uh, they'll work up there as well. Um, I've, I've shot my quarter-scale uh, Kratos at that same diorama. I've been doing good, Luke. How you been doing? Um We've been uh, doing some fire effects with uh, some figures, so uh, you'll have to, if you're just now doing, tuning in when this ends, go back and look. What? Can't grow about an hour from you? Wow. That's amazing. 
I hear the heater in my small room. Uh, John, you know, I'll be coming back. Georgia's not that far away, dude. I'll be, I mean, Atlanta's only two hours away. I'm actually going to Birmingham in a couple of weeks. I'll be there for about three days working. So, uh, I don't know. Hopefully I'll have time to do a hunt while I'm down there. Um, might do a live stream. I don't know. But I'm going to be down like on a... Wednesday, Thursday, come back Friday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, I'm going down on a Tuesday. So my live stream on Tuesday that week will probably be from the hotel room. Yeah. But, yeah, just out here having fun, guys. It's, a, it's actually a really nice day out. It's not too cold. It's, I mean, heck, I'm out here in shorts and a T-shirt. The TIE Fighter, uh, yes. Yeah, so I've, I've been working on it. I haven't worked on it a lot. Um, this effect that I just did is going to be in the TIE Fighter. Yes, there will be, there will be flame effects. Uh, Luke, I used, um, so I used my, uh, Proxima Midnight that I just opened up. I've had, I've had her in a box for a while. Um, I, I just, you know, I, I like her. I wish Hot Toys would make one of these. And I also used uh, some of these statues, troopers, that Christina Payne got for me on clearance at Barnes & Noble. Right there. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm really curious to see how everything turns out. I'm very curious. I have, I'll tell you one thing though, I've, I've not figured out the flat spear. It's not round, it's flat. I mean, I, I know it was in the, I'm thinking it was in the movie. I, I'm, I wanna go back and rewatch her using this in the movie just to make sure, but it doesn't make it good for holding, especially when the hand's like this. You know, you gotta circle. And if I mean it fits, it just I don't know, it's just weird looking to me. I mean it's like flat. Yeah, yeah. I've actually got a cap up there. I just didn't want to unbox a lot to bring down here for this uh first time doing this effect. I just wanted to get a trial run in just to see um how well it would look. Uh, I wanted to get an idea for camera settings, shutter speeds, and all that. Um, but New Year's Day, I'm off. And I might have to be back out here again New Year's Day doing some more. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really a cool fig. I dig it. But I do, I wish Hot Toys would make one of these. Carrie Coon. Human Torch. Um, believe it or not, I thought about that. But the problem with the Human Torch, Kent, I think, I don't know for sure, is the fact he is so orange, I'm afraid that the fire effect behind him would just, he would disappear in it. I don't know. I might try it, though, just to see. Uh, it'd definitely be cool, but, but yeah, she poses up really good. Look at that pose. Isn't that not cool? But I, I've got a, I've got a cap up there. I love to get him out here and do the same thing. Ooh, Ghost Rider. I didn't think about that. Uh, main thing though, I wanted to, um, utilize some of the, the Stormtroopers. Um, I do like the Human Torch. I've got him. I just, like I said, when you put fire behind him, you know, he's orange, and the flames is oranges and reds. I'm just afraid he would get muted out. Venomized Loki. Ooh, that'd be interesting. But, yeah, so, guys, my phone, um, it's going to die on me here any minute. So, I'd hate for this live stream to abruptly end because of a dead battery on my phone. But I appreciate the 
last 45 minutes of you guys tuning in. Uh, make sure and hit the likes. Um, if you come in late, rewatch it. Throw some comments on it. Let me know what you think. As soon as I get some photos up and going, they'll be on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Uh, tomorrow's video is going to be my top 10 Funko Pops for 2018. Um, my number one will surprise everyone. Because I think I'm the only one in the entire planet that probably picked this as number one. Diehard Pops. With fire. John McClane. Oh. Boom. Uh, Jasmine is a teenager now. So Jasmine... She's uh, she's growing up, so she's starting to uh, hang out with her friends a little bit more, which is normal. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely. But yeah, guys. So uh, that's it for this live stream. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hope it was something different. Hope you just really. This is a lot of the stuff I'm thinking about doing a lot in 2019. Is bring more of this style content back to my channel. Uh, back more into the photography, back more into the photographic sessions. I used to do them on Sunday mornings and stuff. I want to do more videos and uh, more live streams along this line. Not just hunting, not just unboxing, but actually letting you guys see some of the behind the scenes of what I do. But uh, make sure to check out tomorrow's video. And until next time, guys, I'm Greg, and I'll see you later.